about to wrap it up, and I had two B one two B one jump on, so I guess I'll get a hold to him. Eric Cole, four oh seven, you're on the show. Hey Phil, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Hey in there, Phil. <clears throat> I was wanting to respond, <clears throat> especially the caller before the guy that came from Chicago. Um, you know, he's saying that he was he went to the um he's gone to a couple of marches because of a young man that died in Chicago. Mm-hmm. But if you were on, I would say, Hey, you know, did you did you uh, march um for the you know dozens of African Americans that have died in the hands of other African Americans in Chicago? Okay. And why aren't yeah. their lives any more important than a man that died in the hands of a cop? Okay, let me That's stop you right there. Hold on. How many marches have you 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 uh, conducted? Well, I don't have any complaints. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't well, have any complaints okay, why don't for, why don't you have any complaints? That's good. Why don't you have any complaints? Because I realize that humans are imperfect, and that cops are going to are going to make mistakes. And um, you know, we're you know, people are human beings, and um, that's the reason. I mean, it, it, you know, is the judicial system perfect? No. Is um, I mean, we can go on and talk about the Stephen Avery case and all that, which I think the man's guilty. And my point is, is like I know I'm bouncing around, but Stephen Avery could be a murderer, but at the same time, the the police departments could be corrupt, lazy, sloppy, you know, and everything else. It doesn't have to be one or the other. Okay, well, let me let me ask you, let me ask you a few questions. Um, do you love black people? Do I love black people? Yeah. Um, I mean, that's that's a hard question to answer. <laughs> in, 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 oh, my God. It's a hard question to answer. No, but, but, it, no, but if you said, if you told me, if you asked me, do you love white people, I would say the exact same thing. Basically, what's wrong with having, that, okay, like well, what's wrong with having love for your fellow man? Like, yeah, you should say, yeah, I love black people, I love white people, I love everybody. I'm just, I'm just an overall good guy, I love everybody. You say that's hard. Okay, so since it's I mean, hard, wait, wait, how long? I'm, I'm leading somewhere with this. Since it's hard, well, I'm not a, I'm not a people person. That's number one. So when you said that, it's almost equivalent to you saying, "Do you love people?" It's the exact same thing to me. Okay, and so I can I, I mean, I'd love to say yes, and a kumba way of life. I wish I did love everybody, mm-hmm. but the fact of the matter is, I'm not going to lie to you and say I do. Okay, so since so since you don't love everybody, um, well, why is it you feel that your assessment on people, since you don't really love people like that, why you why you bring your assessments to the table when you really don't have love for people like that? That's a good question. I mean, because I because I know it affects my life, the activities of other people, and the way people are governed, and the way people live their lives has a, a, a crazy effect on my life. So, you know, whether it be politics or whatever, I'm definitely interested. And I would say that I'm a student of human psychology and I love, um, I love, you know, analyzing people and why things happen the way that they happen. Um, so that would probably answer, answer your question. Okay, let me, um, let me ask another question. Do you have children? Um, I don't, know. You don't have a child. Okay. Well, let's, let, do you have any, um, like, uh, nephews or nieces that you're close to? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm nephews, cousins. Yeah, sure. Okay. What's the oldest one you have, like a nephew? Uh, he's uh, 14. Okay, 14. Okay. So let's say your nephew was to have some sort of altercation with a police officer, and this police officer okay. killed your nephew. I mean, he did... Right. Your your um you know family's crying and reaching out to you. They say in the circumstances just not adding up. Um, what would be your response to that? And he's half, and he's half Asian, by the way. Excuse me. Uh, he's half Asian. That I don't care what he is. He's your family. Well, I guess my my point saying that is is like, let's say there's something and the police department. There's been people that have died that are Asian and from that police department. So I guess that's the reason I, I brought it up. 
You're saying would I be pissed if he died? I'm asking you if he was gunned down in a questionable circumstance and you find out the police is lying and things like that, how would you respond to it? I'd be upset. Would you say the justice system, you know, justice was served? Would you say that? No, I definitely wouldn't. Okay. Would you possibly march in the street when people keep, you know, questionable things are coming out about this? You know your nephew. You know he's not a, a person that fights with police or starts over police. Uh, would you want to get involved with speaking and getting some justice for your nephew? Yeah, I would. I would. Okay. Well, let me ask you another question. But, so, hold on. So, when you're out there fighting for justice for your nephew, because... Then you hear the cop goes to trial, a, a grand jury, and then they say he didn't do anything wrong, but yet your nephew's gone. How would you feel about that? Yeah, I'd be, I'd be pissed off about it, for sure. Okay, okay. Um, so would you forgive the police officer? Um, probably my, my first inkling wouldn't be to, no. Okay. All right, so you wouldn't forgive the police officer um, at all. You would be upset. You would try to do everything you can to get some justice. Now, everything right. you just said, it just really refutes what you were saying earlier about black people and the justice they're trying to fight for. See, if it was your family, you would be acting the exact same way as them. That's why I say we all are the same. But it's easy to make assessment on other people when you really don't have a lot of love for people. And that's based on your own admittance here. And you can say all the stuff you say, and it sounds kind of Fox News Channel esque. I'm not saying you are Fox News. I'm just saying you're kind of repeating those talking points. But when I made it a little bit more personal to you, you acting no different than black people with those responses to police. Because, yes, a lot of police are killing everybody. Right. They're killing whites, they're killing blacks, they they're doing all this other stuff. So right. you would support you police. That, you didn't have to. Excuse me? You didn't have the variable what he was doing in order to get oh, shot. Oh, you know, come on now. Nah, come on. Man, you can't save you? yourself, man. Come on. You just, you are, everybody didn't heard your answer. You didn't tell me in the middle of me questioning you about variables. Come on. If they don't, if they kill your family member right now, don't tell me, say, well, what did he do? You wouldn't say that stuff. You'd be crying. Right. You'd be upset. So don't, like I tell people, yeah, don't, don't I piss have, on I my leg and tell me it's right. Don't do that to me. Please don't. 